I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update. It's been quite a while. So, um, I've had a hell of a hard time with machine shops and, and getting work done. Uh, it's just taken almost a year to get the, my motor program put together. But finally, finally, my heads came back from California yesterday. Yes, I said California. Uh, they sat in machine shops up here in Washington State for damn near eight months, and nobody basically touched them. So, uh, it was about a month turnaround to send them down to West Coast Cylinder Head and down, on the, down in California, and I finally got them back. Alright, so here's my mock-up motor. This is just an old 5.3 aluminum block deal that I had laying around uh, just to get it fit in the car, and it uh, looks good. It's fit nice. Uh, I Google searched uh, cheap LS headers, <laughs> and uh, I come up with these things, and actually they fit freaking awesome. They're, I think they're like a, a Chevy truck C10 LS swap header or something. Um, I got them from Speedway Motors for like 200 bucks, 225 bucks uh, uh, on a huge discount blowout sale or whatever. And I only had to move uh, none of the tubes. I just had to, to notch one of my supports on the floorboard to make them clear. Other than that, they fit freaking awesome. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better. They're inch and uh, three quarter headers, um, cheapies, but God, they're going to work great. So. Anyway, there's the, the mock-up motor all in, motor mounts are built, and, and Tranny's hooked up. I built a new cross member for the transmission, and it's got uh, the scatter shield in it now. Uh, the car used to have a mini clutch and, and uh, lightweight bell housing, but uh, the rules uh, here won't let that happen. So I've got a 10.5 inch clutch uh, to go on the LS motor. Um, I put a, I can't really see it, but I put a steering quickener in it, um, uh, 1.5. Uh, steering quickener. It's already got a pretty fast rack in it, so I figured that uh, I don't want to go a full-blown 2.0. Um, I think it's going to be right at like uh, 9 to 1 or uh, 10 to 1, somewhere in there. Uh, I got to do the math on it. I can't remember exactly what the ratio on the rack is. So, anyway, that looks pretty good. So I'll take you in the garage here and show you the motor. So this has been in the works now for damn near a year. It's it's ridiculous. It's taken this long. So um, to start with, it's a six liter six liter iron block uh, that came out of my wife's uh, 2015 uh, Chevy pickup. Actually, it's it's a long story. Um, uh, so you know, originally these things had aluminum heads and whatnot, but uh, it is a Gen four a Gen four block. It's got the good rods in it. Um, the factory pistons were, were a recessed piston, and because of the cylinder heads we have to run, if they're cast iron, um, they only did cast iron heads on LS motors in, two, in 1999 and 2000. Uh, they flow really well for what they are, but they are an open chamber head, so the best you could hope for was 9.5 to 1 compression. Um, I wanted something a little more stout than that, um, so uh, Wiseco makes their new Pro True, Pro, Pro True Street, I think it is, or something like that. Uh, pistons that are like a really budget claimer piston. They are a forged piston, um, but they offer a 4cc dome on them for just specifically for these these uh, six liters that had a nine and a half to one compression. They're almost a drop in replacement. Um, I'll get to that in a sec. the The cylinder heads are 72 cc's with these pistons uh, and the stock stroke crank. It's going to be 10.48 to one compression. So it's still going to be a pump gas motor. You don't need to run a lot of timing on LS motors to make them run good. Um, so it'll still run a 92 octane at, at about 30 degrees of timing. So um, over to the heads. This has been the freaking thorn in my side now for damn near a year. Um, I bought these heads out of a junkyard for like 150 bucks or something up in Puyallup area. And uh, they needed everything. You know, the guides were wiped out. The seats were all screwed up. I mean, it, they, they just needed work bad. So, originally I took them to my local machine shop there, they sat for two months, and I asked, you know, they kept asking me the same questions when I would call, and obviously they weren't writing anything down. So I went and picked them up from there, because they never touched them, they never did anything. And uh, then I took them over to another very reputable machine shop, they sat there for six months, and they managed to get them surfaced in six months' time. So, you know, here we are, uh, or mid-September now. Uh, waiting for my heads to get done and finally I just went and picked them up. I said it's pretty clear you guys aren't going to get them done either. I contacted West Coast Cylinder Head down in California. They said it would be a two week turnaround. So I bought an igloo cooler and shipped them to California. Well, almost five weeks later I get them back. So at least I got them back and nothing, nothing seems to be happening in a reasonable time frame anymore. But um, so 
it's kind of my own screw up. When I originally bought the valve springs for this package, I do a lot of LS stuff. And I always use Brian Tooley's uh, uh, 660 Platinum Springs. They're inexpensive. They come with titanium retainers. They come with seals. Uh, you get the whole package for like 300 bucks. And on the website it says, you know, it fits all LS engines or whatever. So I ordered the springs and um, get them here. And then only to realize that they won't fit in the factory spring pocket on the cast iron head. I called Brian Tooley. Tooley says, oh, yeah, they fit all aluminum LS heads, but not the cast iron heads. I'm like, well, shit, you know. So, anyway, long story short, I had to get the spring pockets cut. That's what's taken so freaking long. I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal to do, but for whatever reason, they couldn't get it done. Nobody around here could. It's done now. So, I got the head surface, new guides installed, um, new springs, locks, retainers, you know, obviously seals, and, and all that stuff's done. They're finally freaking done. I'm going to bolt them onto the block today damn near a year so anyway um, like I said they're 72 cc uh, they are a cathedral port head you can see that or not they're a cathedral port head um, flow numbers um, so I did have a uh, West Coast flow them for me and then they're and they're pretty good they're not fantastic but uh, they're, they'll be competitive, so we're, the, the, the low lift numbers are actually pretty astonishing. At 400 lift, they flow 240 CFM, or 239 CFM. At 450 lift, they flow 247. Um, at 250, they kind of level off at about 244, 245. And at 600 lift, they flow at like 242. So they start going away a little bit on the, on the bigger end. Um, but anything in the 240 range... Um, it'll make really, really close to 500 horsepower without a whole lot of effort. Um, maybe a little bit more as long as everything else works good. So, not the most ho highest horsepower rig out there, I know. Um, but all things considered, uh, for the dollars I'm into these things for, I can't complain. I'm going to be into this whole engine package for about 3500 bucks. I mean, and, if, and that's including if I would have went out and, you know, bought a, uh, a six liter from a junkyard and started from scratch. So uh, we're doing good. Uh, like I said, the pistons are only like 450 bucks. Um, they are, I did, I did weigh them. Uh, the pistons are 14 grams heavier than a factory piston. I got to actually, the factory pistons are sitting right there, actually. And you can see they're, uh, let me see that or not. There we go. Um, you can see they have a little bit of, you know, a concave in them. They're, they're a negative dome uh, piston. So, anyway. Um, the other thing I ran into with the pistons is that they say that they're, you know, for the, st the stock rods. Um, however, when I got them, they would not fit on the stock rods. The stock rods have to be honed slightly, like two thousandths, uh, for the wrist pin to fit. It's it's very minimal, but another thing that you, know, you gotta take to a freaking machine shop. It takes forever to get done. I think I had them at the machine shop for like six weeks before they finally got done. Um, but anyway, so it's it's stock crank, stock rods. Uh, they are the 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 Gen 4 rods, so they're strong. They'll they'll take any just about anything I can throw at them. Uh, here's the kicker, though. I did not bother to have the motor balanced. I just don't care if it wipes bearings out in the first season. So what? I'll just throw a set of bearings in it. Uh, the pistons are all weight matched. Uh, pins are all weight matched, rods are all weight matched, so I know it's a little bit heavier on the on the top end. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna roll the dice. I'm just sick of waiting on machine shops. So um, I bought the Chevrolet Performance um, front timing cover. I mean, see it there or not? It's kind of down there. Um, anyway, it allows for a small block Ford distributor and a small block Ford fuel pump, and. Uh, so I don't have to run any fuel injection. I don't have to worry about an electric fuel pump or anything. It's all, you know, self-contained there. I bought a Davis DUI HEI distributor. You know, it's all self-contained. It's got everything there. It's good to like 8,000 RPM or something. So there's that. Um, I had to buy two water pump spacers, inch and a half thick each. So I'm, I'm spacing the water pump out three inches to clear the timing cover. And then I used a Corvette. Um water pump assembly uh c6 corvette i believe uh you know 2006 7 8 9 whatever uh water pump assembly off of a c6 corvette it actually came on a crate motor that i purchased for my camaro so i had it laying around and it was kind of a freebie for me uh you have to use a big block chevrolet lower uh pulley and an eti dampener 
Um, I use a serpentine pulley for a big block Chevrolet that's made by March. And uh, all said and done, I was able to use the truck accessories, um, space them off the block. You can see it there or not, right there. Spaced it off the block, uh, inch and a half. Or I'm sorry, inch and three quarters. And uh, I got to do the same with the cylinder head. I got, have, I got some spacers that I'm cutting to, to put on the cylinder head right there where that bolt's there. And the other thing I'm going to run into is that the alternator is going to run into the distributor if I rotate this up where it needs to be to bolt to the block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the alternator bracket off right here, saw it straight off, move my bracket up, bolt it to the block, and I'm going to lay a plate across the top here where I cut it and slide the alternator over the plate and weld the alternator to the plate, plate to the bracket just to space it back so it'll clear the distributor. It's all kind of, and I, I have the ability here to, to weld aluminum, I got a TIG welder, so um, just trying to keep it cheap, you know, I could have bought the other the other uh, serpentine accessory kit from, there's a company that they suggest um, when you buy the timing covers, they, I forgot what the name of it, but it was like 1300 bucks or something for an accessory kit. I was like, screw that. Um, I have all this stuff laying around, so I just, I'm going to make it work. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with it. I'm going to bolt the heads on it today, get the intake on it today. Um, I got a really nice uh, Holly split manifold for it. Um, that took time to get, everything's just taking forever to get parts, man. It's just terrible. Uh, I have a 150 CFM Holly carburetor for it. Um, like I said, yeah, it should make really close to 500, and uh, I'm going to zing this thing. It's going to, you know, see pretty close to 7,000 RPM. Uh, I've got 689 gears in the car, so um, I might have to re-gear it for Alma. I might go to like 660s or 650s. We'll see how it plays out. I'm just going to go play with it and see how it, how it works out for me. So anyway, there you have it, guys. Just give me an update and why it's taking so freaking long to get stuff done. It's just amazing. Just amazing. But uh, hope to be out there in April. Going to go test it. Number 83 LSX. Thanks, guys. See ya.